us now talk about another important thing in biomolecules that is enzymes. We'll first discuss the discovery part and then we'll see how these enzymes actually work. The discovery of enzyme uh, was made about 100 years ago through an experiment which was being performed by Louis Pasteur. And while performing an experiment, he found out that there are certain microbes which are responsible for fermentation reactions. And that is why the substance which was involved in this reaction, he called those substances ferments. So what we know as enzyme today were called ferments by pasture. So at that time, the enzyme term was not there. Then later on, another scientist, Edward Buchner, he actually isolated this substance from yeast. Isolated from yeast. And the term enzyme was given. Enzyme term was given by Kuhne. So term by Kuhne. And this term enzyme literally means in yeast. Because it was isolated from yeast, Kuhne suggested that because it was isolated from yeast, it should be called enzyme. So he was the one who gave the term enzyme and Buchner was the one who isolated it from yeast. And when he isolated from yeast, he called it zymase complex. So here it was zymase complex because it is made up of three different enzymes now that we know of. So there are three scientists who have played very important role in the discovery. Enzymes are compared with catalysts or in other terms we can call them biocatalysts. They increase or decrease the rate of reaction. Earlier the definition of enzyme was that these are those chemicals which enhance the rate of reaction. But it has been observed that they can lower the rate as well as increase the rate. So now the modified definition is that these are the substances which alter the rate of reaction. That means it can go in both the direction. The rate can increase or even decrease. We'll take one simple example. How much rate can change, rate of reaction can change in presence or absence of the enzyme. There is a reaction when carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. If this reaction is taking place in absence of enzyme, in absence of enzyme, then the product that is carbonic acid molecules which are formed are 200 molecules per hour. If without enzyme this reaction is carried out, only 200 molecules are synthesized or product molecules are synthesized in an hour. Same reaction where enzyme is present and the enzyme is carbonic anhydrase. In presence of this enzyme, again the product is same that is carbonic acid, but the number of product molecules that is carbonic acid which are synthesized are 6 lakh per second. In absence of enzyme, only 200 molecules were getting synthesized in an hour. Here 6 lakh molecules are getting synthesized, that too in one second. So the rate of reaction is many, many, many times higher in presence of the enzyme. And this carbonic anhydrase, it is actually a fastest enzyme. And the rate with which it enhances the rate of reaction uh, is known as the turnover number. So what exactly the enzyme is doing here is it is enhancing the rate of reaction. So this example just helps us understand 
in absence of enzyme or presence of enzyme how the rate of reaction would get affected. How are these enzymes actually enhancing this rate of reaction? So let us take a simple uh, example to understand. We are talking of role of enzyme in enhancement of rate of reaction. If we talk of activation energy for any reaction to take place, the substrate molecule should possess minimum amount of energy so that that energy helps them come closer to each other so that a bond formation can take place. Say these are various molecules, substrate molecules and for our understanding we are giving them some unit of energy. Say it has 2 units, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 3, these. This is the amount of energy that they possess. And for a reaction to take place or for them to participate in a reaction, the required activation energy is say 5. So which molecules will be able to participate? The ones which have 5 or more than 5. So this molecule will participate, this one will, this one also and this one. So, how many products would be formed? These four would get converted into the products. The other molecules with energy 2, 3, uh, 3 here again, 4 here, here again, will not be able to participate because they don't come into this criteria or category of activation energy. They do not possess that much energy that they can come closer and form a bond. But, if enzyme is added, now we add the enzyme. As soon as the enzyme is added, enzyme is actually providing a place for all these molecules to come and attach to them. So, the say this is our enzyme and these molecules with lower energy also can come and attach here. So when they attach to the same enzyme, they are so close to each other that they can make the bond. So now even less energy possessing molecules will also be able to make the bond. That means what has the enzyme done? It has lowered the activation energy. And now the activation energy from 5 has gone down to 2. So which all molecules can participate? Even this one can participate now. This also, this, all molecules. So when all of them participate, the product would be more. So there would be more product formation. Or in other words, we say that the rate of enzymatic action has been enhanced. So the role of enzyme in a reaction is to lower the activation energy. We will now try to see a graph in absence or presence of enzyme, how this enzyme lowers the activation energy. Let us plot the graph now and we are plotting the graph between the rate of reaction or the time with which the reaction progresses and the potential energy or the energy possessed by the particles which are participating in a reaction. We are first drawing the reaction or energy required when enzyme is not there. So here, this is how the graph is going to be. This is known as transition state. What exactly is meant by this? This is the minimum energy that we are talking of. To participate in a reaction, the energy which must be possessed by the particles to make enzyme substrate complex. We will take one more example here. This is substrate and it binds with enzyme to make enzyme substrate complex. This is a transitional state. That means it is not a permanent state. It is soon going to change into product and the enzyme will be released. 
So this represents the transition state and this state can be achieved only when the substrate molecule possesses this much energy. And if we talk of the same reaction in presence of the enzyme, this is how the reaction is going to be. That means how much energy is required when enzyme is not there is represented here. This is activation energy required in absence of enzyme. Whereas if enzyme is present, this much energy is required. So this peak represents activation energy required in presence of the enzyme. So if enzyme is not there, this transition state, that means formation of enzyme substrate complex is going to be achieved at a higher energy level. The molecules must present or uh, must possess higher energy to make or to come into this transition state. But if that enzyme is present, the transition state when they can come into the product form can be achieved even at a lower potential energy. So this is how enzymes help in enhancing the rate of reaction. So the mechanism by which the enzymes work are different. We will talk about different mechanisms, but what exactly an enzyme doing when it comes to a reaction? It just lets the particles with less energy, less potential energy also to participate in a reaction. If enzyme is not there, unless and until the particles have large amount of energy with them, they would not be able to come closer because this and particles would move them. So they have potential energy. When they start moving, the potential changes into kinetic. They come closer because of that energy. When they come closer, they make the bonds. But enzyme, when it's present, provides space or place for attachment of the substrate. So even less energy containing particles can come and attach to those enzymes. So now those substrates are very close to each other. They are so close that the bond formation can take place. And that is what we mean by lowering the activation energy. So here we write enzymes lower the activation energy. And that is how they are able to enhance the rate of reaction. Now in the next segment, we will take up various mechanisms by which these enzymes work.